Hello Wannabe Mechanics, in this video we are going to show you how to do the maintenance job on a Mitsubishi ASX equipped with the 1.8 liters diesel engine. Anyone can do this job as long as they follow the simple steps illustrated in the tutorial. Also, by doing it yourself, you know exactly what spare parts have been used and also the satisfaction factor is huge. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to the Wannabe Mechanic channel. Don't go anywhere guys, meet you back in the shop right after our short intro. The tools you will be needing for this operation are a 70mm socket for the oil drain plug, an universal oil filter wrench, a pair of color clamp pliers, a small ratchet wrench, an extender and a 13mm socket for the fuel filter, a 10mm socket, a 12mm socket, an adjustable plumber wrench, you will also need the new fuel filter, the new oil filter the new cabin filter the new air filter and 5.3 liters of engine oil First remove the splash shield if you have one. This is where the 13mm drain plug is located. Place a container under the drain plug. Remove the drain plug while the engine is still warm. The oil filter is located right over there. When the oil stops dripping, it's time to replace the oil filter. We use the universal oil filter wrench to remove the filter.
put some new oil in the new oil filter and grease the o-ring. Thread the new oil filter and tighten it. Thread and tighten the drain plug up to about 30 newton meters. If you don't have a torque wrench, just hand tighten it. The oil capacity for this 1.8 diesel engine is 5.3 liters. Take a funnel and start pouring the new oil. The air filter's cap is held by these two clips. Remove the air filter and clean the inside of the housing. The fuel filter is located behind the air intake hose and the air filter's housing, so you have to get those out of the way. This is where the fuel filter is located. To remove the air intake hose, disconnect the MAF sensor. Loosen up the color clamp at the end of the air intake hose. Remove this 12mm bolt. Remove this color clamp and then the hose. Get the wiring out of the way and then you can remove the intake hose. The 
disconnect the wiring from the fuel filter. Use a 13mm socket to remove the nuts holding the fuel filter's mount. There are two nuts on the left side of the fuel filter and one on the right side. The nut on the right side is hard to reach so you will have to remove the air filter's housing as well. To remove the air filter's housing you have to remove this bolt. Now you will have better access to the last nut. Use a pair of color clamp pliers to release the metal clamps on the fuel hoses. Now you can take out the fuel filter. Rotate the wing nut on the bottom of the filter counterclockwise to release the fuel and let it pour out into a container. Use a pipe wrench to remove the sensor on the bottom of the fuel filter. Use a universal oil filter wrench to remove the fuel filter. Moisten the seal of the new filter with a bit of diesel fuel and thread it back in. Place the seal on the bottom sensor and tighten the wing nut. Tighten the sensor and then the filter.
place the filter back and connect the feeding fuel line. Connect the priming pump to the other line and start pumping until you get all the air out of the filter. When you're done priming, plug in the other fuel line. Thread and tighten the nuts holding the filter's mount. Reinsert the electrical connectors.
place the splash shield back on. Put the engine cover back in place and you are done. Thank you very much for watching, use the comments section for any questions or suggestions and if you find our videos interesting, make sure you subscribe for the latest wannabe mechanic videos. Bye bye!